Hey guys, today I've got my Samsung steam washer and dryer. Dryer also has the steam function. And uh, they're front loading as you can see. They've got the pedestal on the bottom. They're in excellent, almost like new condition. Lightly used. And right now I've got it loaded up pretty heavy. Oh, we got shirts, jackets, towels, all kinds of heavier clothing in there. And I've got it on a standard wash. I just put it on normal, put it on extra high for spin. So just kind of want to do this video to show you that everything on it's working great, sounds great. And what we'll do is uh, we'll let it move all the way through the cycle and I'll come back and show you the final spin. It's one of the most important things. You can hear and see that it spins nice and fast and sounds great, smooth, all that good stuff. So we'll check back in as it uh, moves through the load here. And then when it's all done, I'll move the clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer works perfect. You know, when I go out and I spend my money, I'd like to know when I get it home, plug it in, everything's going to work good. So that's how I like to sell my items. And that's kind of the purpose of this video is if you're standing here yourself, running a load of laundry through it. So we'll check back here. Okay, we've let this thing move through pretty much its whole cycle. It's showing it's on the rinse right now. And it's kind of hard to see in there. You can't really see anything, but it's got the clothes tumbling and it's rinsing them off there real good. And next will be the final spin cycle. So we will come back for that final spin cycle. All right, I went to turn the camera a little bit so you can get more of a full scale view here. This is the first kind of its slow spin on the spin cycle. See, it's nice smooth. Sounds great. And then from here, it'll kick up to a high speed after it kind of gets the bulk of that water out. And so I'm gonna pause it because it'll be about three or four minutes and we'll come back at its fastest point in that spin cycle. All right, and here it is. It's actually gonna get even a little faster than this, but I just wanted you to see that it's nice and smooth. You can see the whole machine there. And it sounds great. You might hear some crackling and popping. That's actually the ice on the roof. There's a tin roof here. And I'm at my uh, storage building and the ice is melting off the trees and hitting the tin roof. But the washer itself, I want to show you, see if you can see how fast it's spinning. Super fast. Now what's great about that, a part of the HE designation, is that um, when it spins that fast, it gets a ton of the water extracted, which cuts your drying time in half if those clothes aren't near as heavy. So a couple of little pro tips there. I'm gonna let it finish up and then we'll move over to the dryer. Okay, now I've got those clothes moved over to the dryer. You see light works and you've got your lint trap here. All that, we'll close that up. Now you have sensor dry options, manual dry, and then steam cycles. You can run a cold water hose with a splitter from the washer just over to the back of the dryer. And then you'd have the option of doing steam, which is great, especially if you like perm press, any of that stuff. Uh, so from here, you just select your cycle. So we do like heavy duty. Then over here, you have tons of different options that you can select from if you want to modify it or you know if you have specialty items you're drying so i always just go very high high heat and this is the sound of this and it sings a little song when it's done too so let's keep it on softer and then just hit go i'm going to give that just a few minutes to heat up and then i'm going to show you with the temperature gun that it is nice and hot on the inside just like it's supposed to be Okay, so I've got my temperature gun here. Right in between those two red dots, it's gonna take a surface temperature measurement. So it kinda depends on what you're shining on. You can already see there that plastic glass, whatever it is, is already starting to heat up. But go ahead and open this up, and I'll shoot it right inside the heating element tube there. You can see plenty of heat coming out of that tube there. And that in turn heats the inside of your dryer up anywhere from about 95 up to 195. Just depends on what you have the setting on up here. So it's definitely can accommodate any delicates. Another 
little pro tip here is that when you use the sensor dry options, now if you've got just a couple of items that are slightly damp and you throw them in, you put it on sensor dry and it'll default to more dry or just normal dry, um, a lot of times your item will still be damp. And so it's recommended in the owner's manual, if you go down here to manual dry and set your time dry, then it's gonna dry for the duration at what you set it on. This has a little sensor in here um, actually, I'll just show you real quick. A little sensor right here. It's metal on the bottom, and that determines if this stuff is hitting it and it's still wet. So that's how the whole sensor dry thing works. It's good to keep all of this clean and clear because sometimes your lint can build up, and if it blocks that, then you might run into some issues with the sensor dry. So always want to keep all this clean, clear, change that lint trap out every time. And that makes it more efficient drying as well. So... Well, that's it guys now you know everything works perfect if you have any questions feel free to reach out like i said um i do these videos just so you know everything works great get home plug it in you'll be good to go uh the drawers on the bottom here if i didn't mention on the other one work perfect you get a little divider you can move around in there yeah all that works great these like i said are just about like new condition so excellent set here uh thanks for watching my video you guys have a great day